This year, Madden NFL 11 takes online to a whole other level. Playoffs. Playoff. 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 Will you say the words playoffs for me? Playoff. Playoffs. Playoffs. <laughs> Playoff. Yes, truly it has begun. The playoffs with JJ Center. And here is our first game we're taking a look at. Mo Kling and the Steelers versus Dirty and the Chargers. And Dirty took care of business. Got a bunch of interceptions on Mr. Mo Kling. Want to thank both of them for being in the playoffs first round. Mo Kling grabbed the wild card. Tight battle towards the end. Charlie Murph with the Bears versus USS Defiant in the God-given San Francisco 49ers. Just couldn't handle the, the defense of the Bears. Bears really uh, the Bears controlled the ball for most of the most of the game but uh, once again once again Charlie Murph taking care of business uh, USS Defiant grabbed a hold of this team because he was faithful he played every single one of his games and I was very proud of him for that look at that Josh Johnson the quarterback over 100 yards rushing by himself Greg Olson grabbing a touchdown also Glenn Coffey the retired man Did anybody know why Glenn Coffey retired but anyways we're moving on to the Red Album versus Nick Weish and uh, Red Album took a late lead grabbed a a forced fumble off of a sack and um, kept that lead towards the end and Nick Weish tried to tried to get it but uh, definitely was unsuccessful Matt Cassell Jamal Charles and McKee all grabbing rushing touchdowns while wow, Mr. Austin Cully had two and Pierre Garçon had one and here's our last playoff game of the wild card match Matty T from big great land of Aussie land versus Akuna and the God-given Seahawks man look at Matty he took care of business really just rushed the ball controlled the clock didn't destroy his opponent uh, Kuna played with his team for the first time also Kuna was next in line for the playoffs so he grabbed a hold of them uh, just Jason Campbell wasn't as accurate as he had planned on playing with uh, well Divine Thomas had over 100 yards receiving but here are the final power rankings for JJ Center uh, these the only thing that will change here is the next couple of weeks in the playoffs you got to witness me the only undefeated team moving on to see if he can regain that title now JJ Center 2 the closest games of the week this calling ATR versus my pots gone right down to the last second three-point field goal can you believe this uh, my pots guns trying to hold on to a wild card spot here got to have a win to seal it did not get the win look at that three minutes to go I uh, didn't have enough time, I guess, to get that score in. Uh, Donovan McNabb, he probably should have kept Romo. <laughs> but we're having fun with him. Definitely enjoying life. Michael Bush grabbing a touchdown. I don't know. I think this calling ATR is going to do very well with the Cardinals going into the playoffs. There it is. Look at this. Acuna and the Rams lost to Seth. Acuna played for his playoff hopes that are now gone by three points in the last 55 seconds of the game. Sam Bradford just threw the two interceptions, really killed him. But Romo, as you can see there, took care of business. Ray Rice almost 100 yards rushing. Steven Jackson grabbing a touchdown. No receiving touchdowns on the end of the Rams. Dickerson and grab the last one there and here is FGZ versus Dairo, Dairo Lover Dairo Lover I tried to pronounce it correctly last time he told me but look at look at how close these games are Dairo Lover is almost on every single week of mine everything that I've like the past four weeks because every one of his games are close and you guys got to remember everybody love everybody everybody's got to play each other and respect each other and get some wins in I'm highlighting STKA4 here versus Z-Man uh, STKA showing him showing you that he should have been a playoff team although uh, this does not put him in the playoffs it just showed you where Z-Man was as Curtis Painter runs for like almost 100 yards rushing I think uh, look at this look at the rushing Curtis Painter 103 rushings on 11 attempts I guess him and Peyton Manning were hard to decipher who was playing there but Dallas Clark leading the league and just receptions I believe and almost with the yards I think even too but very impressive, running with the quarterback, throwing with the quarterback. Higgins, look at that, 103 yards, two touchdowns. But here it is, folks, the standings. This is when life becomes amazing. True to the game, capping off 
and Call Me Touch and Z-Man all taking control. Steven the Beast and Duntouch will must win to get into the playoffs. Look at Sophie's Crew versus Iron Man. 8-7, and 8-7. and seven. Potts versus Will Ownage for that playoff spot. This calling Nick Welsh, Dyra Lover, Bradley all in the playoffs. Here it is. Charlie Murphy versus True to the Game. Folks, this is the greatest thing ever. NFL created division games. Two strong teams versus each other. And this right here, Sophie's Crew and Iron Man, they've got to win to go to the playoffs. Either win or go home. There is no wild card spot for an 8-7 and seven team or 8-8 eight eight team. My pot's gone versus Whale Ownage trying to, I think if Whale Ownage loses, he won't he won't have a chance here but Seth has to win. Uh, he, he, he versus the, this calling ATR and Call Me Touch versus Holy Vigilante, Vigilante will show us who truly is in control of the AFC, him or True to the Game. Uh, Call Me Touch and True to the Game on top have not faced each other, may face each other in the playoffs. Holy Vigilante on top, Untouchable, this calling ATR, Charlie Murph, Pot Folks, there it is. There's the playoff picture. It's already done. The AFC wild card is the only thing available. Will Will Duntouchable keep it off, or will USS Defiant take it away? Uh, also, the wild card picture over here is looking good. My pot's gone, trying to hold on to that last wild card spot versus Whale Ownage. Iron Man trying to win his game. Here is my game versus Holy Vigilante. Holy Vigilante uses Tim Tebow, and isn't it crazy how Tim Tebow had 300 yards passing, had about 10. Yeah, about 10 carries. Uh, the other running back had about 11. Tim Tebow stepping it up, taking care of business. And, folks, I got to tell you, man, this is the most exciting thing. I, like I said, I'm so proud the NFL made division games to be the final games of the year. We have run JJ Center 2 along the lines of the NFL schedule. This has been for your entertainment and your entertainment purposes only. We have served you. We have given you the greatest shows that we could ever create. I don't know anybody on YouTube who creates an online franchise highlight show like myself i'm not saying that pridefully i'm saying that that you are watching one of the greatest things that has ever happened in history from this point on it will only be repeated what has been done this is no a brand new idea created by me jj center thank you jesus give him all the glory and i also just want to thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe show me your love and uh, i'm going to talk to you later make sure you hit the like subscribe to me and next week make sure you show up to see what happened in jj center two playoffs and also the next round of JJ Center 1 in the playoffs. We'll talk to you later.